hey babes welcome or welcome back if you're new here my name is Le'Veon and I just be doing what I can you just making a do with a do girl I don't be knowing but I really focus on like home decor I've been just trying to decorate my home to I guess my standards and my standards been like changing <laughs> throughout this whole journey and it's just been really getting on my nerves <laughs> so if you've been following me for a while you know that I've been on this journey of just trying to get my house to look the way I want it to okay I've been trying to like learn my style figuring out some things some one day I'm like ah I love this and then the next minute I'm like I hate it so what I've been trying to do is like just take my time figuring out like what styles I like, what is going to stay and like, you know, how to get this thing matching my aesthetic. OK, so that's what I'm into. And that's what I'm trying to, you know, perfect, if you will. So one thing that I can say, I've just been learning, you know, new things, new techniques and what really um, what styles that really just resonate with me and my family. So that is pretty much the case so today i want to take you guys around my bedroom y'all also know that i've been trying to you know redecorate my bedroom from quite for quite some time i did stop because i'm like i don't know what to do next if we, if you've been here since the beginning y'all know i had the floral wallpaper behind my bed I had the mirrored nightstands that I kind of grew old with and since then I'm like all right what am I going to do next so I will say my style right now was like a more modern contemporary kind of just implementing like that minimal but like some functionality in the space that's the look that I've been going for right now I've also started like I also found myself really loving like that antique brassy gold that's really been like hitting real nice or whatever so I've been trying to implement that as well I think I shared this with y'all before but my favorite color is brown so I do love that warmth that the brown does bring in of course with the brassy golds and stuff with all of that being said I've just been trying to like cram everything into my decor space so in today's video so I am going to take you guys on like a bedroom tour just to share some of the new things that I do have in the bedroom that I'm actually really loving and what I also feel like makes your bedroom really nice and cozy and brings that really nice cozy comfortable aesthetic that I'm trying to and I will say I'm, I'm doing pretty good and I will say I'm doing pretty good with implementing it in my in my in my bedroom so let's go ahead and get into this video y'all remember last video <laughs> I was like I'm staying away from coffee I think that last video I haven't had coffee in like a week or like a few days and I was like going crazy I couldn't stay away from it <laughs> I'm a true addict but what I did was limit myself for like just one iced coffee a day and I'm like all right love on you gotta you know I'm big your back so I did start to do like more workouts and stuff like that so that was my I guess promise to myself to like, all right, if you're going to enjoy this iced coffee, you're going to have to do some things. So, you know, healthier lifestyle, comfortable bedroom, comfortable vibes, you know, healthy lifestyles, happy, glowing skin is what we are trying to, you know, incorporate in this 2024, almost 2025 life. <laughs> hey, babe. So let's go ahead and get into this video. So an original piece that I always had something that I did not change was my bed and y'all this bed is still it for me I really do love it sometimes I kind of feel like I did want to switch it out for maybe like a cream or like a white one but it is what it is and I still love it the quality is still really good it's like this I want to say it's not so much as a velvet kind of feel I don't know I, I don't even know what it would be but I still love the tufted look. I vacuumed it so it can be nice and, you know, fresh for y'all, you know. But I love this. I love the high headboard and sleek to me. I feel like this bed can kind of really just go with any style, if you will. Now, this bed is about, shoot, maybe eight almost nine years old. We had it since we first moved in, and y'all still love it still looks new um i really never had any like stains on there but i do like i said keep up with the vacuum and things like that on it just to kind of keep it up you will always catch me with white bedding now i do try to switch it up i think last video i did have the um 
the tan sheets on here which I they are super comfortable and I actually really do love these but I kind of wanted to go on that white on white look and love some crisp crisp white sheets and you know did a little bit of layering for so long I was layering the bed like I, you know of course y'all would know but I stopped <laughs> I just really wanted like a really simple, simple style, y'all. I mean, I feel like in the bedroom and like I told y'all, as I'm, you know, kind of figuring out what I want in my decor style in my home, I felt like I just wanted everything to be simple, functional, and I'm a hot sleeper. So <laughs> layering with all those blankets and things like that just was not working for me. So I just have the sheets. I do have the duvet and I did double stuff it. I know you're like, well, let me on. If you're a hot sleeper, why double stuff it? Because I love that full look. Now, if you don't want to double stuff your duvet, you can always get like, this is a queen. If you got a queen duvet cover and then just get a king size duvet insert that would also give it that um that overstuffed looked but I had already purchased a queen insert and then I did like this collab with another one I think they gave like a oversized queen and yeah I just love that big fluffy look again you can always you know achieve that look with the oversized of the insert same with the pillows as well if you want to get that oversized pillow look let's just say your pillow insert is a 20 by 20 you would want to get your pillow covers a 22 by 22 to give it that full look so you know what i mean i did add in this shoot matalase i never know how to say that um quilt at the end of the bed because sometimes i'll like just pull this back and kind of maybe just use this and then this throw blanket like if i'm watching tv i'll kind of have that on there so that is for that and also you know kind of creating some layers i love the tucked in look of my bed so i kind of like to have everything tucked in only because i have the uh what is it the footboard i guess that's what they call it and i like to kind of show that so yeah, I think that really gives it a really um, nice and neat look. Next, I want to go on to this rug. I feel like this rug really, let me take a step back. It really just elevates the room. I really just, I, I feel like it just really brings everything together. And like I said, I did want to incorporate some browns. This does have like some grays in it, which works really well. Because of course the bedroom is gray. I mean the bed is gray. But this was just perfect. Now this rug is in collaboration with Kami Rugs. And y'all they have some really really nice rugs on their site. This is. I wish y'all can feel it through <laughs> the dig on camera. It is so soft. Now this is a 8x10. It's all like I feel like because it's on carpet, it kind of like bunches up a little bit. But it is an eight by ten washable rug, and I think that's really good too because y'all know sometimes when you know your rug just looks really dirty, and you're like, I'm sick of this rug. Throw it in the washing machine to give it that new look. Now I hope, of course, I haven't had to wash it yet. But I hope when that time comes that it does continue to keep that softness because when I tell y'all this is so freaking soft, it just looks really good. I wasn't expecting, of course, you know, when you see something on, uh, what online on the picture, you don't really see all the full colors, but I wasn't, I feel like it got some, it has some peach in there. I'm not really a fan of that, but I don't really think that it clashes too much with the bed um, and then the decor. So love, love this. I will have the link and a code down below if you guys want to check them out. And yeah, I feel like having the correct size rug really does make a big difference. I think the last rug I had in here, they said it was an 8x10. I don't think it was an 8x10. Just looking at this. And remember in the last rug that I had in here, it just definitely was not an 8x10. And it just didn't go right for me. I love the print of it, but the sizing just makes a huge, 
huge difference in my opinion. I shared with y'all the nightstands last time, but remember I had the mirrored nightstands and I wanted to get rid of it because I'm like, I'm over it. Um, they were still in really good condition, but I was just over that look. I felt like I couldn't really incorporate another style if I wanted to with the mirrored nightstands and the dresser I had and I cracked the dress up <laughs> real bad but we had gotten I know we all about bougie on a budget over here so we had went to Ikea and got the oh, gracious the copaying I think I never know how to pronounce Ikea's <laughs> um stuff but the copaying I think dressers right and use them as nice stands right now we actually are using them as dresses because we don't have a dresser yet but we're using them as you know of course nice stands bedside tables i guess if you will and what we did was added in these brass knobs i told you i was into like that really brassy look that antique look i am like obsessed with it right now so just to kind of elevate the y'all got my nails on oh my gosh <laughs> i feel so weird doing the video without my nails but um giving my nails a break so you know whatever but anyway i digress <laughs> i am really loving like that brassy gold look that is just i don't know it's just it for me right now so i put those on there just to kind of elevate the dresses right now and tell me tell me they don't look like no ikea dresses right now nothing wrong with ikea though but y'all they look good oh, i love it i love the way they turned out and yeah you know styled them pretty simple my husband said i always style his up real simple because he don't be having time for all this dig on decor and stuff i do have the diffuser right here so I find myself in the summertime not using candles as much because I just feel like it just brings more heat into the house and we got time for all that. So I'm using my Aroma 360 um, diffuser and it has my room smelling amazing. Shall we talk about the prints that I put up on each side of the bed? Now y'all remember I did not know, well, I couldn't decide on if I was going to do mirrors or frames. I told you I was leaning more towards the frames. A lot of y'all was like, do the mirrors, do the mirrors. And I was going to do the mirrors, but since me having mirrored nightstands, y'all, I was over the freaking mirror look. <laughs> so I did decide to do frames and y'all. I love this look. Now, I did partner up with Frame and Easy. I'm not sure if y'all familiar with them, but they are a frame company, obviously, Frame and Easy. <laughs> and they have like really affordable luxury frames. You can customize these to whatever size and color and uh, frame you would like, which I really do like about that. But y'all, look at this. Look how elegant and comfortable this looks. So I wanted to also go with um, some unique prints. And y'all know when it comes to like pictures and like art, I love abstract art. And I hope this don't sound too crazy, <laughs> but I love, um, what is it? Abstract art of like woman's outline like abstract woman outline paintings I don't know <laughs> I hope they don't sound too weird but I really do um appreciate like like the scribble it was so funny because my daughter was like ma you did such a good job <laughs> drawing these I'm like girl <laughs> I didn't draw these but I did get these from Etsy and what I also love about Frame It Easy is once you like decide decide on your um, frames, you do your sizes and things like that, you can also upload your art or your pictures or whatever and they will just kind of put it in for you. So that's what I did because it was just much easier. And to get the prints, I did go on Etsy and you know order the prints they were like 4.99 for the download super affordable I was looking for unique artwork because i think it's really important just to kind of 
implement your own personal style into your house so that's what i was going and i went with these ladies who just look tired because in the bedroom when y'all come in you tired <laughs> So one, she like laying on her side. She laying, look, she look like she ready to go to bed. She like she sitting on the side of the bed, just ready to go to bed. She looks sleepy. <laughs> and the other one, I thought that this one was like a lady and a man. Kind of like laying or sitting next to each other, but it's a lady and a child. Whatever. <laughs> That's what you get with abstract art. You kind of see something and then it really don't be that. But y'all... I really feel like adding in the frames really did the daggone thing. So, my next thing is, my husband put these up. And I'm like, all right. One, I feel like they're a little bit too far away from the bed. Which, don't look too bad. But I'm like, I want to maybe bring it down a little bit. Because I was also thinking now of doing the picture light. I want to add a picture light so freaking bad. Um, but I also love the way this looks right now so i ain't tripping i ain't stressed about it but y'all i am really really happy about how this looks and of course i know we just styled it you know really simple again with some antique gold just to kind of elevate the black the creams got these peonies that i still never <laughs> want to go get another stem for but i think it looks really cute here and my marble bowl yeah just doing a daggone thing in this corner here y'all know i had this um this tree y'all i got it <laughs> standing on a box right here because i wanted to give it some height and i still have not found um a vase for it well uh what is it a planter for it so it's kind of like sitting all high up on my little <laughs> my box hidden in the corner right here but i love 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 the look that it's giving um need we talk about the curtains because y'all know I will. <laughs> These linen curtains are um, from Amazon. And I, I just can't say more good things about this. Y'all know I always rant and rave about these curtains any and every chance that I do get. Now, these were in my dining room. And I will say they are a, not a little, but a lot. Um, they're too long for this here. Um, maybe in due time, maybe in the future, I will switch them out and just get the, um, the right size for them because they do drag a lot, like a lot, a lot. And I don't really like that, but the look of the curtains, I really do like. Now I do have, um, two panels up here just to really give it that full look. I have the windows, I have them open. I usually have them closed, but I have them open just for some sunlight but like I said, the quality and honestly, the pricing for these have exceeded my expectations, y'all. Like they are so good. This is, I think, the color white and y'all really nice. And I really think that it, you know, just brings the bit of room together as well. Now, I was thinking of maybe doing like a light gray color. Or even bringing in the maybe like a light brown color into the curtains. Like I said, because I will have to change them out because they're just really long. They drag a lot um, on the floor, which is not really ideal. But I do love, love the look of it. So this side is pretty bare um i do have the mirror kind of facing here i usually have it right there but right now i'm thinking of just kind of having the mirror here and then maybe doing i want to do some seating i feel like having seating also in your bedroom creates that really cozy um comfortable aesthetic as well so maybe we can do like some seating here or like a tall dresser kind of taking my time on that like I said I do want to just take my time with decorating um and I feel like even though it may take and I feel like even though it seems like it's like taking forever 
there's no time frame on decorating one and then two I feel like I'm happier with my decision making once I finally you know get it to where I want it to be so like I said no time frame no pressure on what's next another original piece that I've had in here since the beginning was the chandelier still love the chandelier it kind of you know still brings in that glam uh, portion of my decor style which I really and still love and y'all this is I, I love this like look how that looks now we rarely use the big lights because we are all about like bringing in that warm lighting but I love how that looks this is and will always be like my favorite piece um I do have the smaller one in my office and y'all you would never guess this is from Amazon so yep it need to be cleaned but we ain't gonna talk about that <laughs> to share with y'all my lamps since we're on lighting so these were um shoot some pretty pricey dig on lamps <laughs> But I still think that they um, really go well with my bedroom. I think they may be a little bit too big. And I'm like trying to put that out of my head because I can't for the life of me think about replacing these babies because I really still love them. Now, I was thinking about maybe switching out the lampshade. Um, we never really use the big light and I'm all for like a nice warm lighting. And it kind of and to create that look, I do have like the um, what is it the the app I guess to turn on the light. I don't know. Hold on, Alexa, let me flex real quick. Alexa, turn on Le'Veon's lamp. <laughs> Bam. So <laughs> this is um, how low I have it. Of course, it's going to look a little brighter since it is daytime outside, but. I have that um, function, which is super easy to um, to have. And like I said, just to create that ambiance, like when it's nighttime and it just looks so comfortable and, you know, just inviting and dreamy just to get in after a long day. So I do want to kind of switch out um, these. I got these stools just to kind of, I don't know, block some space right here. They look bad. They definitely need to be clean, but whatever, they are temporary, but yes y'all let me know what you think what you think again should it be like um a, or i want to do like an oversized chair right there um just so i can kind of like sit and watch tv i was thinking a bench but i feel like i had a bench before and it wasn't it was functional because it was seating, right? But I just did not use it. And we also found ourselves, well, I didn't find myself. My husband found himself just throwing his clothes and stuff like that on there. And that's just not what I want. <laughs> so probably not a bench right there, even though I think it would look really nice. But I probably wouldn't do a bench. This side right here, I feel like it just looks really good. I do think this wall right here is a little empty, a little bare. Maybe we can do, since your girl is getting comfortable with adding some artwork on the walls, <laughs> we could um, add in some art right there because that is just super bare. You know, we'll see. But yes, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think I should add. It ain't too much to take away, but what should I take away? And what would you do different? All right, babes. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what do you want to see next? Like what things that you would like for me to incorporate in my next video? I would love to hear your thoughts. If you haven't already, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and leave your girl some comments down below. I will see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.